Why, hello there. Oh man, you thought you got rid of me, but you didn't. We have another video of empties, cause guys, it's quarantine and I ain't got nothing to do but use a product. Let's start with candles. Okay. I have been using so many candles, I think it should be a crime. And I've been ordering so many candles that it's probably illegal how many candles I've been using. It's obscene. I'm burning candles in one room, burning candles in another. It's a godsend that I have not set this apartment on fire. So let's get rid of these guys. This is the Volu Spa. I have really been able to see the quality of the burn and the throw of just all these different brands. And at first I was trying to save money. I was like, okay, well this is less expensive and they smell nice and they look really nice. No, don't waste your money. I mean, it's such a shame, but so I have the lychee candle, which is this guy. It smells really nice, but, and I used to save these and put stuff in it. Stupid. It's gonna be really loud. Uh, this one is the Crane Flower, which is my best friend Lisa's favorite. This one out of all of them, it really does have the best throw and it smells the nicest. The other one is a joke, but these burn so quickly that it's like two days and you're done. So, eesh, sorry. Yeah, that's my biggest grievance. So not the biggest fan. Um, a brand that I have absolutely been loving is Nest. I didn't really truly appreciate them until quarantine. So I have three Nest candles here. I have Orange Blossom, I have Grapefruit, and I have Blue Garden, which it's funny because this is kind of like a, a new, well, yeah, they're all pretty new to me, but especially Blue Garden. I did not like this in the box. I got this as a gift and I was like, mm. but then I started, <coughs> excuse me, I started burning it and Mike and I were both like, oh, so nice. So very big fan of Nest candles. We're not the nicest. Um, oh, yeah, I'm trying to put it down nicely. I'm sorry for going out of the, the frame. No English. Also, I bought the Diptyque wick trimmer because now I'm a candle aficionado and what a difference it makes. So I'll just throw that box in there. And last candle is a little bay candle from Diptyque, which is a classic. Great candle. Love this one. Will continue to repurchase. Now, let's go into hair care. I only have a few things, but one is really sad. I've had this guy for so many years and finally it died. But if you know me, and if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I always have a backup. So I even had a backup blow dryer. So I already have a brand new one in, in use. So this is the Conair Infinity Pro and it's about $40 on Amazon. It's the best blow dryer ever. And this one died. I've had it for like six years, seven years. Finally dead. So farewell, my fine friend. Next, I used up a Miriam Cavedo volume shampoo, which if you've seen my video, you know this is the jam. So ugh, that one's dead. This one, be forewarned. When you order things off Amazon, you might not be getting them like the real products. So this is the Christoph Robin Hydrating Leave-In Mist with Aloe Vera. I had to purchase this off Space NK because I smelled this and it smelled completely bad. And lo and behold, the expiration date, it went bad. So thanks Amazon, sold me something bad. So I poured that out. I'm just not the type to return things. I just take the loss, whatever. So that's hair care. Let's go on to, well, talking about things that went bad. I'm just a hoarder. I keep things for so long and I'm like, oh, I'll get around to it. This is a great brush cleaner. I think they reformulated their brush cleaner, but this went bad. It still cleans your brushes, but not as well as it used to. And it also smells bad. 
This is the Bobbi Brown Conditioning Brush Cleanser. I just thought, oh, okay, I'll save some money and not use my other really good one. So this one went bad. There's still a good amount of product in there, but not using it. This is the best brush cleanser of all time. And I'm actually going to do a video comparing some more expensive products versus some less expensive products. Um, and this is one that there is an alternative. I don't think it's insanely expensive and it lasts a really long time. It is the best brush cleanser of all, all time. This is the London Brush Company Goat Milk Brush Cleanser. Um, this scent is called Naturally Clean. I feel like I have a cat hair. It is the best solid cleanser of life. So I go through these, honestly, like maybe three a year, maybe at the most, but oh, it's so good. I have three backups. So now skincare. Yeah. Oh, this went bad too. <laughs> this is the little travel size Sturm face cream. This got dirty in the bag. So, but honestly, use your products and by use, and I'm talking to me in the future, use your products. Um, this I used up. Oh, one last product that went bad. <laughs> I didn't know how much I love this product until now I'm using it. Um, what a waste of money, so stupid. This is the Sturm SPF 50 drops. There we go. Uh, yeah, I have about up to there. Is that, no, I'm lying, up to there. I'm like, that doesn't show it. Yeah, up to there. This is an expensive one, but this has the expiration date on it. And I tried, I started really getting into it. And then I just noticed that the smell was a little off. I mean, this is, you want it to be potent. Yeah, it just doesn't smell the way it used to. And I'm just not gonna mess with it because my skin is so sensitive. So that was, you're dumb, Joanna. You're dumb, stupid. Next, things that I actually used up to completion. This is the Image Skincare Ageless Total Pure Hyaluronic Filler. This stuff is like my winter savior. Please focus, thank you. So good. It just wants to focus on the painting in the background. This might be an issue. I really like that serum, super hydrating, really good inexpensive dupe for the Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. This is the Barbara Sturm Brightening Serum. Oh man, do I love this stuff. Oh man, use that puppy up. And then last in the drops is the Super Anti-Aging Serum. I already have a backup in rotation. Oh God, this stuff is so expensive. It hurts my soul every time I use one of these up. I don't know how much longer I can afford this line, I'm telling you. <sighs> Then we have the Shawl uh, Anti-Aging Face Oil. I have my brand new one right here. This is my empty. Yeah, this stuff is gold. Liquid gold. What is that? Um, what is it? It's not Fat Bastard. It's the other one from uh, Austin Powers. Doesn't matter, it's just in my head. But yeah, this is the Shawl Anti-Aging Oil. So good, making sure it's the empty one. Whew. Oh, one more product that went bad. <laughs> Why not? Just show you all the money that I waste because I'm a hoarder and I keep buying things and I save everything and everything just stays great for a long time. No, it doesn't. This is the LeBlanc, <clears throat> wow, I can't breathe. Multi-use illuminating base. And this is the Chanel primer. Honestly, it's a really good smoothing primer. Um, but unfortunately, I did not utilize it as much because when I got into this primer, which I am obsessed with, the other one just kind of fell to the wayside because that one has SPF and this one doesn't. So boom. Ah, all right. We have empties. Obviously, it's the whole video. We have more empties. <laughs> uh, Halo Beauty Man. I will always have these. I love Tati Westbrook. I love supporting her. I think she's amazing. And I love her supplements. So I have the empty packets of the Hair, Skin & Nails Booster, which look like this. I have two of these. And then I also have two of the Her Daily Multivitamins, which look like that. 
All right, then one more empty wipe. I am literally on my last two packs and then I am face halo all day, every day. I understand that wipes are horrible for the environment and your skin. I am anti-wipes. I'm just using them up to get rid of makeup on my hands and then no more wipes. So I hear you and I totally agree with you. Wipes are bad. So ugh. the things I used to do when I was younger, like in my twenties and I would just be so drunk and I get home from a party and I would take a wipe and just, oh, take off my makeup and just pass out, idiot. That's why I got these wrinkles. Stupid Joanna from the past. All right, so uh, one last empty and then three products that did not work for me. And then that's it, you did it. Yeah, guys. All right, so this one, I actually hit pan and finished it. Even though I also broke it, so the last bit kind of crumbled, but it's fine, it counts, it counts. I just wanna make sure there's not any. Okay, yeah, 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 we're good. So I broke it, sorry, I don't wanna blind you, but I broke it, but I really kept it until the last drop. And I have like five backups of this because if it ever goes away, I will die. This is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze number six. So it looks like this, if you can see, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? You can still see the word nude. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like when it's in action because I have one of my backups in action. Oh, hold on, I'll do it like this. Sorry, I'm a YouTuber. Look at that, beautiful. So amazing glowy bronzer. I now, because this is what you should do, I use that one, I use the Bobbi Brown one, I use the Charlotte Tilbury, and I use the Fenty Cream. I use four bronzing products. It's insane, but you know, what's an extra 20 minutes to my routine when you could just look perfectly bronzed, chiseled, and still look like you have nothing on? All right, three products that did not work for me. One is the Wonder Glow Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I use this and it is just, this is a little sample that I got from their website. I tried it, I just didn't feel like it did more for me than the routine that I have. Not saying this is a bad product, it's just not for me. Last two items you saw in action just didn't float my boat. This is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, boom. And then we have Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Boom. These are little baby sizes and they just didn't float my boat. We are done. We are done. Guys, it's amazing. I got rid of all of that. Oh, I'm lying. I have three other things right here because I actually just finished them during this makeup application. These are things that I have backups in my closet, which I'm about to put in my rotation. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Uh, this is the shade Dark Brunette. I will show you. Boom, 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 boom. Right like that. Such a good brow gel. I'm now just like obviously growing up my brows, trying to use as little brow product as possible. I'm just so lazy and I feel like they're so full right now that I can just kind of put this in and then use the tiniest bit of the Dior Show Brow Styler in dark brown number two, which looks like this, which I just finished this one. So this one's empty. And I just killed a Shantakai, what are you? Faux Sills Longest Lash Mascara. So I just killed this one. I mean, there's still a little juice in it, but it's past three months, so. Now I'm done. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. All right, so you know the drill, guys. This was a good one. I did it so quick, under 15. Let's wrap this up in 30 seconds. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting videos. Hit the like button if you liked it. I hope you did. I worked so hard. And stay safe. I hope you guys are doing well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, shout out to my new subscriber. Thanks. I love it when people comment. Don't forget to comment. Give me, you know, ideas on what to post. And thanks, guys. We did it. Yay. Have a great day. Bye.